What's up guys, it's the Concealed Gamer here today bringing you my 1.61 one-shot sniper slash MP7 build and let me tell you this thing wrecks. So this is the, this is my current last stand build for it. Um, I'll go over the snipers first. So what you want to do is use the classic M44 carbine because this is the hardest hitting sniper by far. Um, in last stand, every, all your stats are maxed out. So I have the uh, this God Roll Classic M44. So that's why I'm using it. But um, what you really want is brutal, prepared, and competent for the talents. Um, when I'm playing in the DZ, I switch to this one, brutal, deadly, competent, because this one has higher base damage and um, higher headshot damage. But just because everything is maxed out in last stand. I like to run this one because I think it has better hitting uh, talents. And for the mods, you want to run all headshot damage. I recommend putting a silencer instead of a loud vent. And for the MP7, um, this may be one of the hardest MP7 hitting builds out there. Because this thing absolutely melts. Um, you want to get deadly, hurried, and adept on it. Um, stuff that can unlock because I have high firearms but I won't be able to unlock uh, talents that need that extra requirement like stamina or something like that that's why I have adept in the third spot so the talents I have for it crit damage scope uh, magazine size crit chance and rate of fire crit damage stability reload speed and then uh, high crit damage on the muzzle now moving on to the gear what I'm running is a reckless chest piece with skill haste health and ammo capacity and for this build you want everything to be rolled on firearms and for my mods I run firearms with health just so I could get my toughness higher because you need every last bit of damage you can get with this build um, I run a refresh mask for the mask you can run tenacious if you want that extra damage but I like to preserve my med kits for when I really need them and you want firearms again skill power and a minor attribute probably damage to elites or burn resistance and again you want firearm mod with health and for the knee pads I run short bow firearms rolled you want health and then the minor attributes whatever you get and again I have firearm mod with health on it and the backpack I run specialized health ammo capacity same mods and for the gloves I have some pretty nice skull MC gloves I got you want firearms um, you need marksman rifle damage to get every last bit of damage you can for the sniper crit chance and crit damage I also have another pair I usually switch from these right here but um I think I'm liking the right one better because it gives me that extra crit chance but yeah um that might be the hardest part about this build is getting good uh, NC gloves and for the holster I got nimble and I have reload speed for the major attribute because this sniper takes a while to uh, reload and um, with that reload speed it helps it that much better uh, being able to reload faster um, you can switch between skill haste or health if you want to um, and for all the performance mods you want first aid self heal that's what I run on every build <clears throat> now let's go to character these are the stats I'll switch on my sniper because this is what I usually run when I go to the dark zone
So these would be the stats for the sniper I have. 201k damage. Crit damage, 219% headshot damage. You just want to stack up as much damage as you can with a sniper rifle. And um, if you can crit with this, you're going to hit hard even if it's to the body. But um, it's mainly a headshot build. So you're going to have to practice and get those headshots down. And then you could really just one shot most people. If not two shot. But you got to be quick with it. Uh, let's go to the abilities. Uh, I run a standard pulse. Sometimes I'll switch to this right here. The mobile cover. This one makes it so you do even more damage with the sniper. So it's probably like a guaranteed one shot with this. But I like having uh, that pulse to proc my competent on my sniper. And if you want a guaranteed one shot, then you pop this booster right before. Now the booster is going to be pretty weak. That's why I have refreshed. So when I get low health, I just pop it and it gets me uh, pretty decent health. But like I said, this build is very squishy. So... You just have to play it right and you can melt almost anyone. Basically everyone with this build. Um, you could run Survivor Link. I like to run Recovery. And for the talents, I like to have Critical Save, Strike Back, Tactical Advance, and On the Move. Um, I think Tactical Advance and Strike Back are both the two must for this. And uh, usually you want to be doing tactical uh, advance over and over to be stacking that damage and to get that one shot if you can. So tactical advance is really useful. And then on the move, if you're melting people with the MP7, get that extra resistance. And critical save with refresh is really nice. And then getting that shortened um, skill haste from strike back. So this is basically the one shot sniper slash hard hitting mp7 build um thank you guys so much for the support hope you guys enjoyed this build let me know your thoughts um ask me any questions in the comment section make sure you guys like this video make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel and i will catch you guys later peace